going on everybody i am the red and today we are facing the fair hope salamance this team is kind of an oddball it got revamped because of expansion if you will originally it was being managed by hunter uh situation happened hunter was not able to continue so ross took over ross did some switching on this team uh, coming out first of the gate is Togekiss. Fairy flying. Uh, very bulky, very big pain in the butt Pokemon. Um, even if you have stuff that's super effective, it takes a lot to get rid of this thing. It has Hustle, Serene Grace, Super Luck, Special Attack, defensively on both ends. Not exactly fast, but it can do Thunder Wave. Yawn, and of course, all the lovely fairy stuff that fairies can do. Um, I definitely expect him to bring Togekiss. Next is, and I'm going to butcher this, uh, Naga Nadal? Naga Nadal? However that is called. The Poison Dragon Ultra Beast. Very cool design, very scary Pokemon. Um, it's strong in the fact that it can hurt you really bad. It has very high special attack. It gets beast boost from special attack. So if it swaps in on a kill, it gets that boost on on ugh, beast boost. Very fast. Uh, 121 base speed. Yeah, this is a very scary Pokemon to deal with. I kind of think he'll bring this because it's kind of neutral. But once again, I do have ground. But I thought having fighting and other stuff would prevent somebody from bringing other stuff and it didn't matter so if he plays it well this pokemon will do some damage salamance dragon flying stereotypical weakness that dragonite and other versions of this have quad weakness to ice is always terrible a lot of things get ice now i have stuff to deal with that so if he brings that i can take care of it easily High special attack, high attack, high speed, high HP. You can use it for intimidate drops or moxie gains. It's fairly fast, 100 base speed. Probably will bring this just because of the ability to hurt something. I uh, don't really got much else to say on that other than it's just kind of a bulky dragon. I don't have very much fairy, so it's not like anything's going to do much against it. Next up is Alolan Marowak, Fire Ghost, very cool typing, Curse Body, Lightning Rod, Rockhead. Uh, Lightning Rod is very annoying because regardless of what you do, it'll always pull the electrical attack, which sucks. High physical attack, high physical defense. Very slow though. You can also use Will-O-Wisp. Will-O-Wisp is never something you should kind of sleep on. Um... Got a lot of weaknesses, but also it has the neutral against normal and fighting moves. It's it's not fairly bulky, but it should be able to withstand at least one or two hits, making it a very problematic thing. Uh, probably going to bring that. Uh, Togedemaru, uh, Electric Steel, Quad Weak to Ground. That's very bad. Um, high Physical Attack, High Special Defense... Uh, it's, speed is up there, 96. Can can do some stuff as far as like nuzzle, thunder wave, all that fun stuff, but not. I don't see him. I don't see him bring this other than maybe something to do sturdy, so it doesn't have to waste a focus sash. You can use it on something else, and basically set paralysis and other things. Uh, male meow stick, meow tick, meow, meow stick. It's a cool looking Pokemon. Pure Psychic, we all know that. Uh, very fast, high special attack, high special defense. Keen Eye, Infiltrator, Prankster. Always worry about Pranksters because they can make your day pretty bad. It's already fast enough and giving it high priority with its status moves. Not exactly great. Fake Out, Thunder Wave, Trick Room, Yawn, Expanding Force. Do I need to continue? If this thing could have five move slots, that's probably what it would use all day every day but you have to set the terrain but it's easy to do that if you g max and have somebody do a mind storm set psychic terrain and then you're just basically kind of 
looking at yourself dying really quickly. Uh, yeah, so if he brings the slower Pokemon, he can always bring Meowtic out, set Trick Room, pull Meowtic out, and basically do whatever he wants to do. Lorantis. I love the Candy Striper Mantis Pokemon, period. Loved it in Sun and Moon. Loved the design. Super cute, super cool. Love it a lot. Leaf Guard, probably not. Gonna bring Contrary. Pure Grass is always kind of a eh because of the Flying Poison Bug Fire Ice weakness. Uh, it has high defense on both, so it can take a hit at least once or twice. High attack. It's... it's it's definitely hard to deal with. It's one of the stronger grass types, in my opinion. Um, but I don't know if he'll bring it. He might bring it just because of the fact that I have ground and stuff like that. But with all the poison and things that I have, probably not so much. Espeon. Pure Psychic as well. Um, I don't know if it has the ability to set terrain. I know it does Trick Room and Yawn. Synchronize, Magic Bounce are never fun to deal with. High special attack, high speed, high special defense. Uh, its special attack is not to be trifled with. And it's 110 base speed, so we're looking at something that can usually come out and do some damage. If it doesn't take out what it is, possibly Bug or Dark will take care of it because it doesn't really have too much of a physical defense. But we'll see. Uh, Lopany. Um, not much to say about Lopany. I don't really know how to use it. Never really tried to use it. Of course, it's normal, so fighting, immune to ghost. High speed, high special defense, high defense, high attack for its tier. Uh, 105 base H, uh, HP, speed, with fake out and thunder wave, nose limber, klutz, and cute charm. Cute charm is kind of annoying because then you're going to have problems with gender, if I remember reading that correctly. So basically, it can make you infatuated, I think is what it does. Or it... It does something. I can't remember. I'm more so worried about uh, Limber than anything else to prevent me from paralyzing it or doing stuff. But it can do Thunder Wave. It can do Fake Out. It can switch it out, cause some problems. Uh, Machamp. Machamp is kind of interesting. Gets the G-Max. It's not exactly known for... I mean, it does get moderate both defenses and special and defense. Guts with a Flame Orb is definitely a problem. Really, really high special attack. Um, no Guard. I mean, throwing out moves that do 100 plus base attack with Stab are never something that you want. And Steadfast, I think, prevents flinching, I think, if I remember correctly. It's a fairly slow, but if you set Trick Room, it's going to be going to be quite a problem because it'll go first in most cases. And it hits like a truck. Uh, Masharna, uh, very terrifying looking Pokemon to me. Gives me weird Akira nightmares for some reason. Uh, pure Psychic, a lot of Psychic on this team. Uh, definitely something to set stuff up. Uh, Forewarn will help it no moves that I have, which isn't that. I more so would go with Telepathy to prevent area moves. High HP, special attack, and special defense. Uh, its special attack is pretty much through the roof. Uh, it still has decent defense for the Pokemon. Really, really slow. But Thunder Wave, Trick Room, Yawn, Expanding Force. Not fun. Uh, probably going to take that just for the ability to swap it and out. But I probably would go with the next one, Aromatease, in place of. Simply because it's pure fairy. I do have poison, I do have steel, but it's... It's going to be able to take a hit, can set screens. I think it you know, can do tri uh, Trick Room. It does do Trick Room, but it can do Light Screen and Reflect, so it can set stuff up. Um, healer, it can heal statuses for other stuff. Uh, high HP, high special attack, high special defense. Even though those are its top, it still has high attack and high defense. So, yeah, that's, a, that's an interesting team. To go back over it, I probably would say... Togekiss, Naganoddle, probably Aloha Marowak, Meowstic, Machamp, and Aromatease are what I'd say he's going to bring. Probably going to be completely wrong, but let's go in here, let's focus, let's get this win, let's go and see if we can't, can't win it for the Anchorage Agrons. Let's 
go. Kind of what I expected, but not with the, uh... I didn't think he would bring Salamance, and I didn't think he would bring, uh, Tegamogu, whatever the frick the thing's called. I highly expect Trick Room. Um, I've done a few mock-ups where I've dealt with Trick Room, so let's see if this will go. Come on. How are we gonna lead? Actually, kind of expected that. Dazzling Gleam is gonna suck. But, we don't care, we're gonna, we're gonna Earthquake and we're gonna freaking we're gonna Discharge, let's go. Earthquake should go first. If he doesn't follow me, it doesn't matter. We shall see. Even a max airstream won't kill Ion, so I should be fine with that. And then it's just damage control after that. Let's see if uh, let's see if Garchomp can make it happen. I think it's Eisenhair. Eisenhart. Oh, withdrawn. Ooh. Maybe for the barbs. Huh. I wonder how this is going to go. Possibly a dragon move. Possibly. Max Worm, that kind of sucks. <clears throat> Once again, speed being messed up is not fun. Speed boost for a special attack. It's fine. Lightning rod, that sucks. So we are going to have to do. Huh. We're gonna have to do something really different here. Oh, we're gonna have to, have to swap. I don't really want to do that, but. Who is going to be able to handle stuff from this? You're up. Let's go Overseer, let's see what we can do. I think, unless he did max speed investment, should go first. Nope. That's gonna cause a very big problem. Yep. Rip. Man. This is kind of not going how I wanted it to. Getting those boosts. Um. I need to go fast. Uh, so much for pulling punches. I'm gonna have to. I'm gonna have to try and see if I can pull back with. Uh, nope. It's not gonna be. Nothing's gonna be super effective. I might as well just go Dynamax stab. And hope for the best. Let's go. Maybe I outspeed, maybe I don't. But I'm probably going to lose another one here. I don't know if it's, its electric ability isn't the best. But it could KO Overseer. 
not in a good spot right now. Well, he goes, so... It does not kill. I don't think Overseer is going to go first. If he does, that's clutch. Um, nice worm win. That's not good. That kills. Damn it. Yeah, this is not looking good. Nuzzle. in a good spot. It not being Gigantamax is, is good, but it still has all those boosts. Let's see what we can do here. I don't think Scut Tank is going to go faster. That kills, so that's done. This is going terrible. Well, killed itself. Yay me. Another nuzzle. Focus Sash, of course. Got one left. Well, now it's just mitigating damage at this point. Very light, uh, very unlikely for a comeback on this one, especially with that coming in. Fun. Tiny shield, okay. Earthquake. Alright. So that's gonna spell the end of the new. Oh, hangs on. Can we make it through the front? Nope. And lightning rod doesn't go. Awesome. Yep, that's... that's GG. Wow. I can't do anything else because of that. So, game over right here. Uh, well, that was fun. Yep. Lightning Rod will pull it, and then it's just slowly wither away. Damn. Got nothing. Once you get set up, it's pretty much downhill from there, so... Just enjoy the, uh, the last few moments of Ion living. Man, it's such a bulky Pokemon. Oh, man, I have to live another turn. Uh, can I just run? Oh, GG, Ross. Got nothing for you, unfortunately. And you killed your own Pokemon, so... Good game. Good game. Wow. Second verse, same as the first. That puts us at... Uh, damn, I think two and six. 
not exactly how I'm going to end week four. We saw the playoffs. Just getting those setups with those Ultra Beasts is such a pain in the ass. Mm. Even with a Assault Vest defense priority to a Max Wormwind to that Garchomp that still took it out in one hit, that's, that's pretty rough. But, to be honest, the true MVP is going to be Toga Demoro, or Toga Demaro. Maru? Anyways. Yeah, that Lightning Rod really messed it up when all I had was Vicavolt left, and of course, with Choice Specs, you can only use the one move and not being able to switch out. Put me in that bind to pull out the slow draw at the end, but... Yeah, definitely good game, Ross. Um... Hopefully we can get in the playoffs and revamp and do something to at least get past round one. But at this point, this is kind of a sour note to end the season, quote unquote, for going into the postseason. But we'll see. But as always, I am the Red, coaching the Anchorage Agrons. Thank you all for watching. We'll see you next time.